He's crying. In this episode, we are staying at our three favorite unique hip camps. We'll be at the luxury teepee that will feed your soul, a yurt on an animal sanctuary, and a bunkie along a peaceful river. The road trip continues. Our next day is just a few minutes away from downtown Calgary, Brother Fish Ranch. This luxury teepee was made with intention and acknowledgement of being on Treaty 7 territory, the traditional and ancestral territory of the Blackfoot Confederacy. The teepee was made in collaboration with the Sioux Tina First Nations, and when we arrived, our host told us the story of how the teepee came to be. Before entering the teepee, all guests are smudged as a way to cleanse the soul of negative thoughts. Oh wow, it's so much bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> wow, it's oh, so gosh. Much bigger. <laughs> it's so cool. Our host Debbie and Butch put so much love into this stay, and we immediately felt it. I could scream. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful, and like so thoughtfully done. And like so much, yeah, like, this is, I'm filled with gratitude right now. This is such a cool space. I can't stop looking because I don't know what to look at because it's all beautiful. Brother Fish Ranch also has a few beehives where we unexpectedly suited up to go harvest some fresh honey. We're currently trying to get this done before the storm comes because uh, you can't open it up with rain. Right. We're gonna go and grab the white box there, and that's where your honey's gonna be. So if I were to stand right here, would I be good? Oh, okay, so give it a shake, to give it a tap too. Oh, good job. <laughs> oh man. I don't like, you know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can see all these bees. Yep, there you go. Oh my gosh, I'm like still shaking. We got thrown in the deep end a little bit. We got this. Wow! <laughs> but I was terrified. I like, I don't really like these. Uh, you know what I envisioned? That just a thousand bees would come at my face and I wouldn't even be able to see out of my mask. But like, they're pretty chill. I'm excited for this. Also, there's puppies over there. Yeah. Brotherfish Ranch is the perfect place to have a romantic getaway, a spiritual retreat, or just a peaceful experience. And let me tell you, with these puppies around, there was not one negative thought in my mind. If that wasn't already enough, we were also gifted with something special. Cultivated quartz relieves fears, phobias, and anxiety. If it feels right to you, please accept it as a small gift from Brotherfish Ranch. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh, the sun's coming out. <laughs> That's so cool. Like the whole like ambiance changes and like there's a shine we were happy to get to use our honey and charcuterie the night away. Overall, we loved the stay. Not only was it super comfy, but the experience of staying in a teepee and our hosts, Debbie and Butch, made us feel at home. You can stay in this teepee for $225 a night, and it's a one-of-a-kind experience so close to the city, making it the perfect quick getaway. Now we're hopping on a plane and heading to Ontario. We're packing up our wagon. We're gonna go to the Taiga Tent. Another city escape is the Taiga Tent, which is just 45 minutes from downtown Toronto. Before we walk into the tent, look at this stump. Look at all those mushrooms. It is a healthy, flourishing ecosystem filled with mycelium. Ooh! 
our home for the night. This bohemian yurt glamping experience has everything you could need. All you have to bring is your clothes and some food. It also had one of our favorite communal areas that's open to all of the guests. But the best part is that the taiga is also an animal sanctuary with two very loving highland cattle named Dora and Rock, who absolutely stole my heart. for the cats, but I keep eating them. On our last day of the taiga, our host Jenny and Danny let me take part in one of their yoga retreats, where we got to know each other, journal, go on a meditative nature walk, and of course, yoga. Overall, the taiga went above and beyond our expectations. And what's unique about this property is there's so much to explore without even leaving. You can stay in the taiga tent for $150 a night or $100 a night if you pitch your own tent. It's a calming retreat that is sure to recharge your life. Our next stay is in Gray County, Ontario, Pine the Sky. Nestled in between pine trees is this little eight foot by eight foot bunkie. Here's our little bunkie. Did you build this? Um, so I built that. Um, okay. <laughs> and then we had some extra logs, and so my carpenter and I built this. We are at our first little bunkie in Ontario. <laughs> I have no idea where in Ontario we are. <laughs> Um, but we're here and it is very cute, very quaint. First place with a bug screen. Oh yeah, no bugs in here tonight. And lights, that's nice. This tiny cabin is also equipped with electricity, a fan, and a heater to keep you comfortable all year round. And if you're lucky, you might just be able to catch a glimpse of the neighbors. So we just drove through Mennonite country. Similar vibe to like Amish people. We passed a horse and a carriage on a road. I have never passed a horse and a carriage on a road. Just a few minutes away is the town of Flesherton. We have a butter tart. I think it's my first time having a butter tart. Controversial thing when it comes to butter tarts. People think they need pecans in them. Some people think they need raisins in them. I love them all, but we just got a plain one because... This is good. <laughs> This is good. To our surprise, we found out that Gray County is filled with waterfalls. So we decided to start with Eugenia Falls, one of the tallest falls in the province. But it was kind of touristy and you couldn't even go close to the falls. And since Brody and I like to go off the beaten path, we decided to check out Hogs Falls. It's only a short drive away. And not only can you go right up to the falls, but we had the place to ourselves. Luckily, just got there right before probably a group of like 30 people. We just got a little bit lucky even to have it for ourselves for a little bit. And now, we decide we'll try walking back up the river because it's not very deep, uh, back to our car. So we're taking the adventure route back. Will we make it back to the car? So thumbs up from Brody. We made it back to the cars. That was fun, my adventure side has been fulfilled. And uh, this isn't a Tiva advertisement, but I probably wouldn't have been able to do it without my Tivas. And Brody has Tivas too, she's stoked. Because she sold me on them. Wow. Look at those.
Aside from the bunkie, Pine the Sky also had a little patio, spacious outhouse, three camp spots, and an RV spot. But this, this was the best part. This property also has a river running through it, and there's a canoe and a couple kayaks for you to go out and have an adventure, which is exactly what we're doing. We're making our way to the Hudson's Bay. We should be getting a few furs along the way. We might have to portage a couple times, but uh, hopefully we'll make it. I don't see one beaver on this trip. Hey, beaver, beaver, beaver. I can't see anything from up here, but maybe the GoPro can. I really hope I look back at that footage and see the beaver waving to me. Still no beaver, but this canoe trip definitely makes Pine the Sky a hidden gem. You could stay in the bunkie for $60 a night or pitch your own tent for $40 a night. An experience that is truly unique. Good morning. One of my favorite parts about sleeping here is that at sunrise, you can see it right at your feet. 